what's up guys this is Trav and we are back again to try <laughs> he meant to say something else for you I was gonna say <laughs> Mountain Dew Voodoo <laughs> <clears throat> alright take this crap alright Ryan give him a close up of that can <laughs> Actually, guys, you know what? Let's put you into my close-up. This is the brand new limited edition mystery flavor Mountain Dew. 2019 edition, the Voodoo. Very interesting name for this flavor. It's going to be a mystery. And Ryan and I are going to try this out. Let's take a look at the color and see what it is going to be. doing <laughs> so guys this is the mountain dew voodoo for halloween and it's really strange that this is out this early i don't know what the deal is with that but then again october is gonna come sooner than we would think really but voodoo it's very very interesting i do the color is very strange i like how milky it is but i definitely expected this to be like purple which i don't know what you think it, you you would have um, predicted it to be black you know, or black like, kind of I like know. i don't know i'm kind of thinking of this as like black label maybe or yeah, like or if it is like black label cool. um or like a grape kind of flavor but this smell i've already kind of snipped it is very interesting it's like it's straight up a bag of skittles yeah. That's exactly what this is like, like a bag of Skittles. So, cheers. We're gonna try Mountain Dew Voodoo Limited Edition. Do know. that one more time. That's liquid Skittles. It's like, like um... <clears throat> if you took up, if you took Skittles, ground it up in a blender, and it somehow turned out clear. But yeah, <laughs> like, it's really, like it's really strange. Really weird. I don't know if it's like so weird that it's bad. Like that's kind of what I'm. It's actually toward, like the like, fruity flavor of it. I really like. Like it's actually like it. The most. I don't really taste like fruit. It is Skittles and everything. Yeah, it's like, like it is Skittles and everything. But artificial, but it's colored like flavor like. But Very, it's like yeah. Skittles, like, but if you had like, um, I don't know if there's like Halloween Skittles or whatever. Um, like, there's like the dark side Skittles. The dark side, <clears throat> I guess, is kind of like, it tastes kind of like Skittles, but yet like chocolate Skittles. Darker, like, a, like, like a kind chocolate, of a heavier, yeah. Like a chocolate Skittle, sort of, but with a hint of Skittle. Did you say chocolate? Skittles, yeah, it does kind of like, remind me of like the outer shell of an M&M, sort of. Like not sort of. really, more on the side of Skittles being kind of fruity and stuff like that, but... Um, it's a weird taste. It's very to, weird to um, describe. But at least it's not bad. This one's kind of for the kids, I feel like. Because it's a mystery. You don't know what it is until you try it. It doesn't have like a specific flavor in the title. It's voodoo. It's something strange. And I think that the voodoo name really matches well with what I'm tasting. Like a bunch of different kind of colors in one flavor. It definitely... Like, the most I can call this is like a bag of Skittles. It's like a grounded up bag of Skittles into liquid. But what are your thoughts? Um, they're de it's definitely, it's definitely easier to say like it's like ground up Skittles and everything, but I do taste like a chocolatey taste. What I was saying before is like maybe it's, maybe it's like a little bit too weird. At least for me, it's just a little bit too weird where I don't, I'm not really leaning toward it being good. Like it's, and it's definitely way <clears throat> worse than normal Mountain Dew. Like it's, I it's feel like, really and, not, and not like to it. confuse people because like, I feel like, you know, cause uh, the Code Red Voltage and uh, White Out flavors from the 4th of July, two different flavors that they've done so far. Like it's not like that where it's actually like a mixture of other Mountain Dews. I'm not actually tasting really other, any other Mountain Dews in this, no, um, no. but the flavor still kind of reminds me of a Mountain Dew flavor. So it's like this weird, I don't understand it, but I think that's kind of the point. Like it's supposed to confuse you. After trying it again here, 
it really hit me. I think it's a lot like a grape flavor. It has a very grape kind of flavor, like flavor, but I kind of suspected that, but I expected them to also take it into a different and different turn. This is the exact color of Whiteout, but it is not like Whiteout literally at all. Um, I'm really liking it just because it reminds me of candy, and I think that's what they're supposed to be going for because of Halloween, so it makes sense, but like I said earlier, I think that this is definitely an interesting flavor to be like, here you go, child, <laughs> like hand a child mystery voodoo Mountain Dew for them to drink, because it's gonna, it tastes like candy. And I actually did try it again, but it was kind of like, I don't know if I want any more of this. <laughs> like, I'm that, I'm already that done with it. I really don't, really don't like it. So you really it. don't like I it don't at all? I don't really like it at all, really. Like, it's not the worst ever or anything, because, I mean, like, I don't mind Skittles. Skittles aren't my favorite candy eat, so that's, like, another thing against it. By um, the way, Mountain Dew. You need to make a pineapple flavor of Mountain Dew. Why isn't that a thing yet? I like it, but I don't like it a lot. I'm gonna put it at a solid, just a solid B grade. It's an A for me. It's drinkable, but at the same time, even right now, I'm like, I'm not gonna go back for another drink. <laughs> like, it, I mean, it's not the worst ever, but it's really, I'm thinking more like a 60. So that's it for the Voodoo Mountain Dew. Go check it out. I found it at my local Kroger, which is, it's not at Walmart, it's not anywhere, it was just a complete surprise. Found it at Kroger, so go check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, very interesting can. I love the can, by the way, and like everything about this. Um, but yeah, definitely the purple, I think, really matches the flavor of this. Um, I didn't expect it to be the way it was but I also wasn't surprised at the same time. We'd like to thank Ryan for coming on. You can tell them where they can find you. Worst reviews, um, and you know, I do, I do stuff. <laughs> That's it for us, guys. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff, guys, and you, beautiful people, seeing us in the next one. Maybe not Ryan, but he'll be back another day. Trav out, and peace out. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. You can click here for any like other videos, other reviews that you may have missed because I may have put something up that maybe you missed. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe and all that beautiful stuff guys and you beautiful people seeing me in the next one. Tribe out and peace out.